It is adventure time. I hear my good buddy Jay. Uh, we have shared many, many adventures till he decided to not be a bum and have kids and go to dental school. But we used to go on all sorts of crazy guys. We trekked mile after mile for trophy gold and brook trout, countless adventures. And he's back. We, I'm back. I'm excited. I'm excited. We've, yeah. had, we've had some good time. Super excited. We are going to a lake that is a it produces nice fish. That's all I'm gonna say. And it might be kind of a short video because it might be slow action because it's big fish, but hopefully we get into some because it kicks out some toads. Uh, we don't know if it's thawed. We're hoping that it is. Yeah. That might be a very short-lived thing. So we're packing in a lot of crap. I got a float tube in my backpack and he's got most of the other stuff and so we're gonna trade off. But hopefully we get into some fish, big fish. Anyways, let's get going. Let's do it. Right off the bat, little brook trout underneath this log. A black and red balanced leech. I don't have any of my stuff to let him go. Not bad. Yeah. Decent little guy. Don't get that. Right yeah, oh, crap. There you go. Nice little brook trout. Come here, buddy. Nope. Jason with the brook trout. On a CBO. Not bad. Yeah, no. About the same size you got. Yeah. Perfect for a frying pan. Yeah, I should get mine out. <laughs> nice little guy. Yeah, yeah, it's a good job, man. Pretty. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I had one. Just blow on the draw. Yeah. We have made it. Um, I bought this off brand float tube if you've seen any of my videos i showed it in a couple and then i bought this cheap backpack just to carry it it was only 35 bucks it's pretty nice for 35 bucks so yeah you yeah. guys should use it for backpacking backpacks it's a 65 plus 10 liter pack gonex or gonex i don't know how you pronounce it but is it the same brand as the float tube no oh. it's a go plus it might be who knows but I'm gonna get ready. I've already seen a couple decent fish, so it's gonna be fun. Let's give it a whirl. Actually, I just spooked a decent one out of here right in front of me. Hoping there's maybe more than one. Let's try this. Of course, if there was a fish there, it would have eaten that big, huge scud. So if there's a fish under here, he would he, he would have pounded that massive scud swimming underneath there. There we go. It's a little guy. Oh no! Shoot. Sorry. Dude. Uh, What's that? I have I got my camera. Pretty little cut. Nowhere as big as his buddy that was there. Oh, throwing my jacket instead. That's a pretty cut. Go away, buddy. I got nice cuts right here. Oh, I got denied. Couple chunkies right here. Do it, do it. Oh, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, he slapped right up to it. I might be going chrono and I'm getting denials.
I'm getting denials with the scud, and there's scud swimming all over the place, and they're not eating them, so we're on a Karana, man. Let's try that. Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh, he denied. Of course, denial after denial with big fish. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he got off. Oh, well, at least I got one to take the Karana, man. Oh, oh, dang it, he took it. Shoot. Just had one of the biggies go for it. Do it, do it. A size 12. Yeah, big one. Eh, decent. Not as he's decent. Come here. Oh, he, yeah, he's a chunky. Get up over. Sweet. Yeah, I guess that's a decent cut. It's weird how he didn't even hesitate. Oh, yeah, he's fat. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Come here. Come here. It's a healthy, it's a healthy cutthroat. And a little blood worm. Yeah, I'm getting denial, denial, but this guy took it. There's a pretty cut. Let this guy go. Here, buddy. Out of the net. You need to swim this way. Either way, there you go. Oh! Gosh dang it, I hit the water in three, I darted at it, and then nope. Come on, come on. Oh, you got it, there we go. Oh crap, oh crap, oh geez. Okay, come on, I need to get over here. Another fatty. Oh, come on. Another chunky cut. Nice. Well fed. Another nice cut. Another solid nice cut. That's pretty. Like about that guy. Come on, buddy. Nice. Can you see that? I can't see the crime and I saw fish swimming over to it. Oh. There's one under that a big one under the log. Holy shit, yeah. Come on. This guy will take it. Nope. Nope. He's like, nope. Not a leech. It's scary. Oh you got it, you got it. Oh yeah, I see him. He's a biggie. He's a biggie. Yeah. Okay, he's got a biggie. He need to. Did he get off? Oh no! Shoot, that was a big fish. Gosh, I wish I had tied more Mega Blackies. Oh, I bent it clear out. Is that what it was? Yep. Because I'm trying to hold them straight. Or hold them to get them to the Oh wow, that was a big fish, dang it. Yeah, we've moved on. We only got the, I caught the three, Jay hooked that mega beast, what we were after. The five or six year old fish and it bent the chronomid straight out. So that's what we were after. We did not land it, but they're in there. So we picked up and moved. Moved out. We're gonna try in another lake really quick, and on the way out, and hopefully get into a few more fish. D Brown with the fish, little brook trout. Not huge, but still fun. Out. Yeah. Come away, buddy. There you go. Well, our adventure is kind of to an end. I know this will be a very short video because the action was pretty slow. Yeah. Uh, he hooked the freaking monster. That's we went to that one lake for that very reason, and he hooked one. And 
think I got some of it. He already had it hooked before when I turned on the camera, but it literally it literally bent the chronomet out. Yeah. Like it was straight in the hook. So it was big. That's why we went there. We did not land any of those. Got a couple little ones. Went to a different spot and caught a few little brook trout. That's kind of fun. So it'll be a short little video, but it's always good to get out with my good buddy Jay. It's been a while. He's in dental school, so he doesn't have a whole lot of free time to do stuff. Although right now he does, except you're going back to school in a day or two. But yeah. anyways, thanks for watching. Until next time.